just finished your 36 hour fast or about to finish your 36 hour fast or are you planning to do a 36 hour fast this video is for you i'm going to jump into how to properly break your 36 hour fast we're going to jump into foods to eat and i'm going to talk about three scenarios scenario number one is how to break your 36 hour fast by just jumping into a normal looking diet number two how to break your 36 hour fast fast by continuing the effects of the fast and putting yourself in a state of fat burning and weight loss. And number three, how to break a 36 hour fast and take advantage of building muscle through the mTOR pathway. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Diela Joy and I've lost the majority of my weight eating with this fasting schedule, one meal a day. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds and I've lost over 110 pounds on my journey. This is my OMAD transformation. I started it in 2022 after getting into a car accident. My binging was out of control and I use OMAD as a tool to help me restrict my binge eating. Now I'm currently on a mission to build muscle so I've been jumping into 36 hour fasts here and there just to help with the unstock weight and to help reset my system. The 36 hour fast is like the happy medium fast because it's that fast. It's not too long and it's not too short. Like it's long enough to get you into fat burning mode, to get you into autophagy, to get you into areas where you're going to be taking advantage of like gut health and mental health and all of that but it's short enough where you feel like you're not fasting for days, days on end. So on this channel, I talk about losing weight using the metabolic switch, whether that be through fasting or through eating. And if you're interested in all of that, hit that subscribe button, come join the fam. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start off with breaking your fast in a way you can continue stay in a fasted state. So this way is basically breaking your fast in a way that you will continue the effects of the fast through eating, aka weight loss. So if you want to break your fast in a way to continue to take advantage of all of the metabolic benefits that happen during the fast, like the staying in deep ketosis, um, feeling GABA and all of that, you want to eat a keto diet. So you want to break your fast with things like bone broth, or you can jump into a meal. Now bone broth, I will suggest for anyone who's new to fasting and they may have digestive issues. But if you are, you know, you've done a few fasts and so forth, jump into a keto diet, have a high fat piece of meat, high fat piece of fish, high fat protein will definitely help you out. So doing it this way, it will keep you in a state of ketosis. So ketosis is basically a state where your body is burning fat for fuel. And the process of creating ketones is a process where you need to burn fatty acids. You need to burn that fat in order to produce ketones. So you can do it in that way. The second way I'm going to talk about is the way I'm currently doing it. And that's with the mTOR pathway way. So the day after you fast, which is what I'm doing today, I fasted yesterday. You want to take advantage of the mTOR stimulation pathway where you're going to take advantage of building muscle. So you're going to do this in three steps. Number one, you are going to protein load. Number two, you are gonna perform resistance training. And number three, you are going to add amino acids. So to basically do this, when you break your fast, break your fast with protein. I broke my fast this morning with a protein shake and blueberries, some casein protein and some whey protein. And then I went to the gym, worked out, worked on those muscles and after that, I'm going to take some amino acids. So to basically protein load, you want to be eating your food every two to three hours, and you wanna make sure you're getting 20 grams of protein. You wanna eat about five to four to five meals a day and ensure that those meals are loaded with protein. So 20 to 30 grams. And when I say four to five meals a day, you wanna focus on the protein macronutrient. And you're not gonna have like giant meals. You're gonna have probably like, you know, for example, maybe this is a meal. Some burgers with some mixed greens and perhaps some keto bread or burger buns. As long as you're mixing it with greens, you'll be good to go and your muscles will take care of everything for you. 
So yeah, this is my little grocery shop post fast. So I am going to load with protein powder. Um, there is amino acids in here as well. So you could reload with protein powder. I am also going to reload with chicken, some free run chicken here. And I'm going to have some salads. I will flash some meals on the screen here. I haven't cooked yet, but you'll see that. And here is my almond milk. Arugula, I am obsessed with, obsessed with. So I'll show you some of my meals. And then protein load, protein load, and protein load. Yum, yum, yum. Now, the final way that you can break your 36 hour fast is eating a normal looking diet. But when I say a normal looking diet, you best be stuffing your face with vegetables, okay? You best be stuffing your face with arugula. This is actually baby spinach, some mixed greens. Greens are your friend. You can have things like refined carbohydrates if you had an active day, I would say. And if you are sandwiching these refined carbohydrates, with fiber, taking a shot of apple cider vinegar before you eat your meal. That's gonna help flatten that glucose curve, which will help promote weight loss. You wanna sandwich your carbs with fiber. Berries, like raspberries, this is on sale, I got some of this. You wanna be eating meals that look like meals on the screen here. And the reason why you want to stack with fiber is that it's gonna help keep your blood sugar down. You have to remember when it comes to weight loss, it is about stabilizing that blood sugar. Blood sugar will spike if you eat something like this on its own. That's why we sandwich it with some greens. We sandwich it with some protein. We just don't eat refined carbohydrates on their own. When you do that, you level out the glucose curve because it's that spike in the glucose curve that causes you to be incessantly hungry. And it also promotes weight gain and tons of other issues with our body. It destroys the mitochondria and so forth. So if you wanna break your fast eating a normal looking diet, please make sure your plate is filled with tons of vegetables. If you wanna have some refined carbohydrates, that's fine, but make sure it is sandwiched with a bunch of vegetables and fruits. It's so important, high fiber. Fiber is key. Fiber helps to bring down our cholesterol levels and fiber helps to bring down our blood glucose levels. So you wanna be eating in a way that will help benefit the fast that you just did and benefit your body. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you made it this far into the video, just drop in some leafy greens. And I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care, bye.